Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we have another first today. Yeah, this box is from Algeria and we've never tried anything from Algeria before. No, so that is so awesome. I love getting to try a completely different place. Yeah, there are a few things I recognise from like Europe, so... I guess maybe they're imported like the to brands. Algeria, like Lou and yeah, things Lou. like that. But fun fact, um, do you know in the last 90 days, what percentage of the people watching our videos are from Algeria? No, what is it? Guess. Percentage. Percentage. Uh, 9%. 0.01%. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to go down well. <laughs> well, maybe what we should do is in another 90 days after this video, see. we'll see how many people from Niger I, Algeria. I almost said like 13 or 20 percent. I was like, no, because sometimes we don't even get that many people from UK. Yeah. <laughs> so then I was like, no. 0 0.1. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. But I suppose... Maybe we'll have more after this. Yeah, it all changes all the time, doesn't yeah. it? Anyway, as always, should we start with the letter? Yeah, should we salute for the ambassador? Yeah. Ambassador Ow. Maxi. Who moved the table up? This is also a pretty epic box. It's huge. It's humongous. It's and like the one that Lee runs. I know. <laughs> That's the thing. There, you think we got that, but in here, there's loads of things in there as well. Oh, different things. Oh, this could be like a 10 part video. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hi, Kate and Alex on a lovely hoarded paper. If you receive this package, I hope you're doing well. I'm Camilla from Algeria. When I saw you for the first time, I liked you guys so much because I love this kind of videos. It makes the world so small with one box and voila, even though I prefer traveling, but it's not available to everyone. And what I liked more was the idea of how tasting snacks with humor Actually, I laughed so hard about Japanese candies when you found a small gum in a big box and you were laughing about how small it is. And when Kate wanted to open it, it flew in the air and Alex went and bring it back. <laughs> OMG, it was so funny to watch. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'd completely forgotten I about, forgot that, whole about thing, that. Yeah, it yeah. came in that whole box and it was a tiny little. <laughs> Um, and the, she says, okay, sorry, back to the subject. So I've been looking if you've tried snacks from my country and you haven't. So I decided for the first time to send you what we have. So I picked my favorite snacks, also our traditional candies, what we actually eat in our special occasions. But before we start, I have some conditions. Just follow me. One, One open the square box. When you finish it. Open the circular boxes. And when you like it, I will tell you. Bon appetit, as Julia Child says. Have you watched that a film, Julia and Julia? No. Really good. So... So what's the circular box in there? Right. So, first of all, we have a box here. Oh, okay. How cool is that? Oh, look, that tells you... It's a map you... of Africa. Yeah. So first of all, we've got to open this. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing that was the top, because... But I think this might be the top, because it has that on top. You want to open mm. the other side? <laughs> What? Yeah. I have no clue what's in it. Mm -hmm. Do you want? Oh, oh, that's cool. This is so lovely. Oh my word. Has she made this box? It looks like she has, doesn't it? So inside oh. we've got a little parcel with a scroll and some photos. I don't know why, but because it's a scroll and like, don't you feel like we've just found someone's like time capsule? Yeah, hit buried treasure. So do you want to grab the photos I'll of grab the roll? i the photos. Oh my word! Look what she's done. That's she's like bordered it clip. with a metal edge. That's like a proper scroll. This is amazing. Oh my word, this is so cool. Look, this she's attached the, cool. the string onto it, Al. Oh my word, that is so cool. Oh my word, is this what Algeria looks like? Whoa, look at the colors. See, look, she's Fuji. printed them yeah, from Fuji. Yeah, I think she's done taking yeah. these photos. Yeah, these are some that amazing photo's photos. amazing, let me see that one. I wonder if that's her. That's amazing, isn't it? That is so amazing. The colours. Well, I would imagine they've been taken to like a photo shop. Magnum. And, you know, Shahid printed properly. Or Riyadh El Faith. Wow. Is that what it looks like? That next photo looks like Trafalgar Square. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? 1932. The legend says, if you want to know something, you have to go back to history. So let me take you to a quick adventure to show you the beauty of my Algeria. I picked most popular places, even though we have so many other beautiful spots, because Algeria is so big, full of cultures, traditions. We inherited it through ages. So it's a mixture of Andalusia, Spanish, Ottomans, 
Berbers and French civilization. So that's what makes us different from other Arab nations, I guess. Because who are we? We are Algerians and that's what we call it. So let's begin. Okay, so this is for you. Oh, thanks, Kate. And this is for me. Now she said circular. There's also a square in here, but surely we can open them all at the yeah. same time. What does your say there? Mine says Kate. You can wear it for Algeria and for Italy because we have the same flag colours. Well, mine just says, Alex, hold this with your keys. Now I've got this other one here that says, Lacoste fragrance extract with Arabic touch. <laughs> this is Dior fragrance extract with an Arabic touch. We call it in French, Le Extrait de Parfum. Can I open this? Oh, this is nice, look. Oh, it's a little that's Algeria awesome. keychain. Now that makes oh. sense with the uh, hold this with your keys. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. It's like Italy as well, that's isn't it? That's a cool it? bracelet, isn't it? Let's see that. Is that got a flag on it? Yeah, it got the Algeria flag so on. That's so cool. I love our little um, mementos, are they yeah. called? Because we we keep every memento that we get sent. I'm so excited about this. Oh my word. This is a little. Look. Oh my word, I can smell them. It's got a little Lacoste logo. Well, this is Dior. This fragrance. is quite cool, actually. It's got a rollerball, so yeah. I guess you like roll it on. Oh, smell that. Well, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Try that. Oh, I like that. Didn't you used to that's have nice. that? That's nice. No, I've never had Lacoste. Put a bit on now. How nice to send us some presents I can't as well as it. so much food. This box must have cost you an absolute fortune mm. and we really appreciate it. Thanks so much. We have sent her a box of British candy back, which we hope she's enjoyed. If anyone else is interested in trying some British candy, we'll leave a link down below to our website. We've got tons of boxes on there that you can try. Yep. Right, shall we crack on? Let's crack into it. We've got it. a lot of crisps. So these are master chips. These seem to be a popular brand here. We've got goot kebab. Goot is like real, isn't it? Uh, like real cheese, we're on the yeah. good fromage. We thought no. it was like good fromage. Look, no, we got good then, fromage. And then we asked Google, oh, and you said, a gooch. The gooch. <laughs> oh my word, gooch shawarma. Oh my word, like a kebab. Yeah. That's crazy. Right, should we start with this one then? We've got a lot to try. It says kebab flavour, Middle Eastern flavour. These are like little sticks, isn't there? These are like little um, wafers almost. Yeah. That's like a nice smoky flavour. A very light crisp, isn't mm. it? A bit of smokiness. That's nice, that. Mm. Not too um, powerful. And I've got goose fromage. That's a really delicious flavour of, mm. of crisps, isn't it? They're nice too. Oh, they? Mm. Oh, yeah, like french fries. A lot of these seem like, um, they're like puff, puff. Mm. These are normal crisps, but then these are like popcorns. This is like a corn snack, and then these are puffs as well. Oh, I like these sticks. Do you? Mmm. Really like them. I think I'm going to eat all three of these, and then I'm going to put those in order. Those three. Mm. So these are like the first kebab ones. There's not crazy amounts of flavour in there, but there is enough, isn't there? It's not really making me think shawarma, but no, it's kind of enjoyable flavour, isn't it? I don't think I've ever had a shawarma. They're good. Okay, out of those three, what are you doing? Mm. Swarmer, cheese, then kebab. I think I'm going the same, but switching those two. Really? Tough. Mm. They're both really good. There's a very small margin between them. Mm. I can just taste more flavour in these ones. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Good start. Good start with the crisps. And we've got plenty more ahead of us. I wonder how many things we're about to eat. <laughs> Okay, what do you want to do next? Shall we do these more normal looking chips? Yes. These are chicken, Poulet. Poulet. These um, taste a lot like our Walker's chicken crisps. What do you think? No, they like these actually taste like chicken. So do our Walker's. Oh, they taste of like the herbs that go with chicken. Mm. I was going to say, this here tastes like um, after you've had a roast. Mm. You know, a bit of chicken with mash. Yeah, because this has aroma poulet in. Oh. So I guess it has some kind of flavouring of chicken, whereas ours just have like herbs and vegetable yeah, kind of stock. Mm. I like them. You're not usually a big fan of chicken crisps, so do you like no, them? No, I've never really liked chicken crisps. No, you don't. I wonder why. I don't know what it is about them. 
Uh, look, she's put here, I put these on my fingers to pretend that I have a trendy nail. <laughs> it's like, shall I open Beagles, these and you yeah. open those? Because this is shawarma and that's shawarma oh, cool. as well. It's I like the This bugles. is shawarma popcorn. Oh, cool. Oh, not popcorn, like puff, puff little pieces. Oh, uh, right, yeah. It looks like popcorn on the thing though, doesn't it? Whoa, these are much bigger than the American ones. And these are more like puffs again. Oh, interesting, yeah. It must have hurt. These have a much stronger flavour than those other ones. Those other shawarma ones. Yeah, so do they. And they look like they've got more. Mm. I think those bugles are my favourite so far. These are really nice. Mm. Great flavour. These are good. Great texture. I like the um, shape and... Mm. Oh yeah, that one was really good. Yeah, I'm preferring these over those already. Yeah. Um, these, I think, are my favourite. These or those? These, actually. Really? Yeah. Because at first I thought those. Mm. But with these, sometimes some aren't as covered as much. I really like the texture of these when you like bite yeah. into them. Yeah, that's lovely. I'm hoping these are going to be the same texture like then. soft, yeah. You'll have to let us know if, if it's just Camilla's favourite type of mm. chip. Or if most of your chips are kind of the puffs and the... Yeah. Because it, it's seeming that way, chips. yeah. Because these are the only potato chips, yeah. aren't they? And again, these are Master's chips and these are Goot pizza. And I've got ketchup flavour. I have to say, there's not a lot in these bags, no. is there? Very smaller bags. Even with the usual rule where, like, 90% is air. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Now, these are ketchup, but they're ketchup with herbs, I can taste. Oh, yeah. It's lacking a little bit of punch. Just tastes like a tomato sauce. Does it? Mm. Oops. And a bit of oregano. 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 You really have to have the American. All Caribbean. Mmm. I always like the sort of puff balls, though. These are good. They've got that same texture. Mmm. I wouldn't really say ketchup, though. No, these taste more like pizza, like pizza. than mm. those do. Okay, so out of all of those, my two favourites are these, and I'll be giving those a 10 out of 10. Same. Are they your mm. favourite as well? Mmm, delicious. Okay, we've got a whole journey ahead of us. Mm. Take us on the road. Do you want to go biscuits, or there's like a cake and like a... A bimbo. A bimbo. So these are cupcakes with apricot jam. Oh, well, that's cool. We call it Madeleines. Oh, we kind to of, um got something called Madeleines as well, but they don't look like that. Do you think that's because it's a cross section? Do you think they'll actually look more like Madeleines when we... Oh, maybe. And then I thought we could open these. This one here says, Gold Biscuit, My Childhood Biscuit. She's literally put a um, note on everyone. Camilla, don't you think that's such a pretty name? Such a that's good name. one of my uh, favorite names. And it's great for shorting if you want. You can be Cam. Cammy. Cammy. Millie. Miller. Miller. Mila. Mila. Camille Cabea. Camille Cabea. <laughs> C. 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 No. K. K. Mimi. It's bad with a K. Millie. Look at these. Give them a smell. Oh, they smell great. Oh, good. Oh, well, they first. do look like um, Madeline's more, actually. Oh. Is that a little turn? I think so. Has it got like, um, is that just like caramelised almost? Oh. What? Great flavour. Oh. It's mm. like burnt or caramelised or something. Yeah, look, Teddy. Have they just oh, no, it's a pig. Because that's not chocolate. No, I'm not sure if they've like caramelised some they, sugar. Have they like put butter on it or something? And burnt it. Mmm. These are delicious. These are really delicious. We've had some something of kind of like this What's before. That one? Oh, look. Oh, sorry. It's a little rooster. Oh, well, that's cool. Koala. Yeah, this is a delicious biscuit. Mm. And I'm not sure what they've done. Whether they've burnt some butter on top or burnt like the, sugar the sugar or something, but it's so good, a really nice caramel. Because I like brown edges, and when you touch it, it's smooth. Mmm. Mm. Okay. That with a cup of tea or some milk. Milky. Ooh. It's almost like a malted milk. It is milky. But with the caramel kind of edge. They do remind me of the ones mm. we just tried in, um, in that American box, like the honey mm. brown bears. Right, do you want to try this, Madeleine? Yeah. These are 10 out of 10. They are 10 out of 10. Like, Ooh. don't let someone tell you that they're only for kids. How nice and fresh this, this seems. Oh, wow. I don't know if that's right. Mmm. 
Mmm. That is delightful. You'll be able to have them for your bites. Mm. That is delicious. We've already got so much stuff. This is really reminding me of the mm. one from Lee Raz. That's really fresh still. When me and Dad go cycling or abroad. Oh, that's yum. And we've done like massive kilometers in a day. So sometimes we'll pull over at like a supermarket or something. Mm. And we always get something oh, like yeah, this. yeah, you get like the Like a pack of pre-made like spongy cakes. Mm. Either those fingers with like currants in or madeleines. And this reminds me like of that. Like those Bon Mamon mm. ones. They're really good and they're so moist. And the egg moist. box keeps them so moist. Yeah, they're delicious. Mm. It was good that they were in a bag each, I think. Yeah, this is one of the best things I think we've ever been to. Yeah, that is delicious. One of the best like cake things as well. Yeah. Remember those ones we had from Colombia? They were really good. Those oh, like, well, they're really moist. The Coffee. Cake. I think these even top them. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Absolutely delicious. So this is into the higher Into range. the unknown. These are a 12. Yeah, they're 12. Amazing. Well, on that note of something more like um, mm. desserty, yeah. we've got these here. Oh, they look cool. Oh, these like ladies' fingers. Isn't that what they're called? Oh, they literally are like lady fingers, but these look like they're lemony flavour. Oh, that would be really good to I make like a lemon. I know we say E a lot, but it's just lemon flavour, isn't it? On lemony. this one. Does it say lemony? Lemony schnicket. <laughs> Who said that? What do you mean? Me. No, I mean, we say lemony. when things don't have an E, we just add the E. Lemon. But this is just lemon flavour, it's not lemon. lemony flavour. <laughs> oh, that's got a lemony flavour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do we say that? So she says, my mum used to give me this when I was a baby for my teeth, mm. lol. Oh yeah, because it's the type of thing that when yeah. it adds a bit of liquid... Well, we used to have rusts, moist, didn't we? Rusts, yeah. And they were the same. Oh, I love rusts. I might even just go buy some. <laughs> mm. What are you bunching on, Al? Oh, just a rusk <laughs> for my teeth. For my gums. Mmm. Mm. They're very good. Really nice and lemony flavour. <laughs> It's like a dehydrated sponge. I thought you were gonna say dehydrated finger. Yeah, we call these lady fingers. Mm. And you use them when you're making a tiramisu and mm. things like that. And um, like in America, I don't know if you get lady fingers, I'm sure you do, but a lot of people make banana pudding with those Neko wafers. Oh yeah. And I think they kind of go soft. So if you don't get lady fingers, they're kind of like Neko wafers where they go soft, but. Mm. These are delicious. Great for just on their own though with the lemon flavour. Don't you think? Yeah, so good. Whereas you wouldn't just munch on the lady finger no, here. Because they're a think. bit dry and a bit mm. plain. Mmm. You wanna go biscuits? Yeah, let's go bickies. So we've got quite a few. Quite a few bickies. So we got the loos. Let's go for that first. So these are loo major and they're loo prints, but they're basically the same thing. Also, the reason why we have those loo ones, she says, Kate. In Belgium video, you wanted to taste Prince with vanilla cream. Got your wish. Oh, that's amazing. My hips. And that was in. Oh. Sorry. You have to. Yeah, I was literally in pain. I'm not here. sure I'm going to be able to eat now. What? Yeah, it makes me feel sick. Really? <laughs> so, in a video from Belgium, you wanted to try the vanilla I, ones. I was wondering if they had them. And they've come all the way from Algeria. And she's remembered that. <laughs> And she's popped that in for oh, so me. Cute. You are so kind. That's just so thoughtful, isn't it? Yeah. Have you tried Prince Vanilla before? I never have, no. no. And have you ever seen them? Ha never have I ever. No, I don't. Well, I might have just ignored them and gone straight to the chocolates. Yeah, probably. But um, I don't remember seeing them. Hmm. I'm excited. It's like a rich tea biscuit on the outside. Hmm. The thing is, it'll be the same biscuit, mm. but you don't notice it as much. Mm. Mm. I think it needs the milk chocolate to give it a bit more flavour. It's just a little bit dry for me. Rich in cereals. Mm. Has that got a slight lemon undertone? No. It says here about having two of these biscuits. A day to keep the doctor away. And a glass of milk as a snack. I like them, but do you know what? It's made me realise that I don't dislike the chocolate ones as much. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Not as nice as a Prince chocolate, milk chocolate. I'm sure it's the exact same. I don't think it is. I think you get more chocolate. That's because the last time you had Prince's, they were double. Maybe. Mm. Maybe not. I like those majors. They're good though, aren't they? 
Are they a 10 out of 10 or not quite? Not quite, no, no. Who's the princess? Mm. This says dry biscuit for tea on or dank coffee. Does that say dank coffee? Looks like it. But I'm just gonna say dry biscuit for tea or coffee. Mm. And I think they've come a bit crumbled up. Would Is you like it some? just literally a plain biscuit though? Mm. So it doesn't have a center, I don't think. Exactly. Yeah, look, I think they are just a plain. Mm. That's cool though, isn't it? That's really cool. Even the ones in the middle are a bit. It's hoping to find a whole one. I really like that I'm all broken up. Yeah. I quite enjoy that. Cheers. Cheers. I was wondering what you're doing because not often you <laughs> initiate. In initiate the cheers. <laughs> the thing is, they look chocolatey, but they're not. No. Very chocolate. Is it me or do they taste a bit lemony? I feel that too, but I don't know if they are. <laughs> Maybe we've got the lemony from that. The lemony bar. These look very exciting. They remind me of the ballerina ones. Mmm. We've got a little handy opener. Oh, that doesn't always work. These like have, oh, look how cute they are. I thought they were going to be Cutely bigger than like that. like a little swell. On the bottom, oh. oh, you have a fight with it. The bottom has got a little hole in. Oh, my top's got the hole in. I think yours has been put together wrong. Oh, because, oh, maybe. Because look, there's my mm. bottom. And yours was open that way. Oh, and that's different again. That's what I've got. That's got two swells. That's what I've got. Oh. Are they lemony? It's definitely like an undertone, mm. isn't it? Well, you never know. They could just really love mm. like lemon flavour over there. And I don't know if they are, but I'm really getting lemon after each. Well, they just get like a... Unless... basic biscuits just got like a bit of a lemon yeah. vibe to it. So I was going to say, unless they're like plain biscuit, it's mm. just got a bit of flavour to it. They're nice. I'm, mm. I'm going to eat them all and then put them in order, maybe. And then we've got two that are kind of like the same brand. Sure, this is sure. Goot Vanille and this, this is, is Goot, Goot yogurt. yogurt. Can I open these ones? Yep. And so this is kind of a bit like our custard, custard creams, creams, isn't it? yeah. Apart from custard creams of just vanilla. Mm. We don't have any um, biscuits with yogurt in the middle, no, we do don't we? Do. Okay. Mm. Are you going yogurt or vanilla? Vanilla. I like that yogurt one. Yeah, well, the yogurt adds like a bit more flavour, but in some ways I just prefer the vanilla. Mmm. Mmm. I'm actually going to go yogurt. Really? Mm. That's a surprise. It's really nice. And then we have two like cookies. Yeah. We've got Maxon, which looks a bit like an Oreo. And we've just got chocolate cookies from Bimo, and it's just chocolate chip cookies. So we've got a few Bimos, haven't mm. we? And this is Palmieri, and this is a chocolate biscuit with a vanilla cream filling. Ooh, these look good. These look good as well. Oh, smell really chocolatey. Well, yeah, these smell really chocolatey. Mmm, mmm. This is really good. Mm. Pretty close to an Oreo, I just think it needs a bit more filling. It is a bit thin even, on the filling, isn't it? Even though, you know. This is a really cute little I prefer packet. double stuffs, but even for a single stuff, mm. I think this needs more. Yeah, but this I is love, teeny. I love the taste of the chocolate biscuit. I wonder if they get Oreos, or because they don't get Oreos, they made their yeah. own. Mmm. Like you say, that really, the actual biscuit really tastes like mm. an Oreo. I would say out of all of those biscuits, my favorite is the Maxon, mine and too. then these cookies. These cookies are great. Yeah, this is my favorite. They've got plate. a really nice crumbly texture to them. Mm. The chocolate chips add a really nice flavor. They're decent sized chocolate chips as well, aren't they? Mm. Any room, sir? Oh, please can we try these? Yeah. She says, my favourite snack for university. That's cool. They're biscuits masqui for a la creme de cacao. I wonder how much they're going to look Biffer. like. Biffer. I know, I'm interested. And then shall we crack on with some chocolate in a minute? Yeah. I wonder where Camilla goes to university. Mm. If it's in Algeria or somewhere else. Oh my word. They actually they look, look like... like that. wonder how creamy it's going to be in the middle. Oh, it's like hazelnut. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. That's really like hazelnut. It's nice to have that change in texture, the nice crunchy mm. shell, and nice and liquidy hazelnut in the middle. Mm. Because I'm not much of a hazelnut fan, it's not my favorite, mm. but I can really see, if you like Nutella, mm. why you'd love that. I, okay. hope, I hope the popo on around today. Why? Because these nuts are cracked. 
crack nuts. These are crack nuts. So, who says Algeria says Chihuahua? It's M equals one of Algeria's snacks. Crock it and I'll eat the inside. I'll crack it and eat the inside. Oh. And these are peanuts with Mexican flavour. Oh. Are these like sunflower seeds? Which we... Oh. <laughs> it was so funny. We eat sunflower seed shell and everyone was like, why... How are you eating the shell? Mm. Oh my word, look. It's the tiniest thing in there. Perfect. That's really delicious. Um... Can you actually taste them? I can't really taste them, I think. Mmm. But I don't get it when they say don't eat the shell. The shell is so salty. That's like the good bit. No, but you know what? I watched someone, like when we were in Lanzarote, you don't put the petrol in your cup. Whoa, that's spicy. You don't put... <coughs> oh my word. Are you okay? What happened? I just swallowed some of that. It was really spicy. And then I coughed and it like sprayed spice on really? my throat. Oh, that's disgusting. You've already had those. You think they're spicy? I don't like them. Like we've had before, they're yeah, like those <laughs> peanuts that are covered. Yeah. So they've almost got like a shell on them mm. with flavour. It's so good. The shell on that is so nice. So, so basically, we were in Lanzarote, and in Lanzarote, you don't fill up, well, I don't, can't call for every petrol station, but you don't fill up your petrol yourself. Yeah. Um, and I think some places in America still fill it up for you, don't mm. they? Anyway. So she was eating these sunflower seeds while she was filling up her car. Mm. And she was like, doing that. And literally next to us, she was like, Pff. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> they were in the days before coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. Definitely wouldn't be able to do that now. I would just suck on the outside of these. Mm. Yeah. These um, like Mexican the flavored colored peanuts. Mexican flavoured covered Mexican peanuts. Fla Mexican flavoured covered peanuts are delicious. Mm, I love mm. salt. And now we've got some shawarma flavoured peanuts. Mm. This should be good. Like the shawarma flavour so far. Our it? dad told us a story of when uh, he was younger. His mum would eat salted peanuts, but he would, they, she wouldn't eat the peanuts. She would just suck the salt no, off. No, it wasn't his mum. Who was it? It was the granny. Oh, um, Dad's gram. Yeah. Used to suck the salt off the peanuts and put them like in another, another bowl. And Dad and George used to go eat the peanuts and be like, ooh, these aren't very salty. <laughs> <laughs> Already had the salt taken off them. Mmm. Different flavour to a shawarma crisp, but still nice. Do you like these kind of peanuts better, Kate? Because they're they're coated, they're almost like a crisp. But I prefer... They don't taste very peanutty to me. Yeah, I prefer eating the peanuts with like a crunch. Mm. Or, I do like salted peanuts. Mm. Or those caramel peanuts from... Has Camilla said what these are? They're good. Oh. You have a Diclo as a singer, and we have a Diclo as a peanut, lol. I love... Oh. Dido. Oh. Dido. <laughs> You have Dido as a singer, and we have Dido as a peanut. Lol. P.S. I love Dido. I know. Da, 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 da. Is that Dido? Good. Yeah. Remember, she did that one with Eminem. Where's the chance in that? Because <laughs> your beard is so long now, you don't even notice if something lands in it. No. I think... It's almost like smoke cheese or something. Mm. I think they're my favourite ones. And the salty little... Sunflower seeds. My favourites are actually the Mexican. Really? Mm. Too spicy for me. Yeah. It really caught me off guard. I'm like, <coughs> as this box is so epic, we've decided we don't want to rush everything just to make the video shorter. Mm. So we're going to split it into two videos and we'll carry on with the rest of everything yeah. in the next episode. If you want to see the second part, click subscribe down there and also hit the bell notification and that way you'll be notified when we upload the next video. Yeah, because we've got lots of sweets, we've got a drink, we've got something really interesting in a tin, and we've got, oh, we've got some, some chocolate. chocolate. So 
don't miss next episode um but yeah we hope you guys enjoyed watching that did you enjoy that i love that i can't wait to try a bit more amazing camilla already the first half has been epic and we absolutely loved it so thank you very much and we hope you enjoy our next episode if anyone would like to grab a box of british candy we'll leave a link down below but we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya